My dad was a heavy equipment mechanic, so the first thing I learned to drive was a bulldozer at the age of 12. Just been taking apart and fixing things all the way, all along. If we didn't like how much something costs, or we didn't like the fact that it didn't do all the things that we wanted it to do, we would make it. 3D printing is, is something along the lines of, if you think it in your mind and you can draw it on a computer, then within a couple of hours, you can hold it in your hand. Tell us more about what you have behind you. You know, you have your 3D printers here. Tell us a little about how, you know, it evolved. Uh, well, it evolved from the one up on the hood there, if you want to call it that. That machine was the one I started, or I built when I was doing prototyping for people. And that upgraded itself three times, then created this machine. Then way down on the end behind me is um, a little quantum delta that's being built and it printed the big round metal parts for that. Um, these, this yellow one is a new addition to the plastic gene pool and um, it made the green one and the blue one on the end. These are you know, just known as rep wraps, which is short for self-replicating rapid prototype machine. How does your son and daughter play into this whole maker scene? What are you, how does that relate to what you're doing and also how does it relate to family development? With my son, you know, we started the Jeep project. He's learning to weld and things like that, you know. He's 10 right now. My daughter's only two. When she's around, she has to inspect everything that comes across or comes off the 3D printer. How does the evolution of 3D printers connect with your approach with how you're going to be teaching people. The reason I create and I, I back this open culture concept is because, you know, I'm, that's where I started. If it wasn't for open information, then I wouldn't have been able to start. And who am I to lock it up? How do you see fiber optic technology and Lit San Leandro actually helping um, the machines you make and what you're going to do in the future? I did the Mozilla Ignite with these machines right here. We had the printers at Internet Archives and then they were being remotely controlled from Chicago. Without the fiber optic technology, you wouldn't be able to do it because there'd be too much delay. What is the Omnom project? Omnom project is a machine to grind up failed 3D prints and other materials. Omnom's working with plastic grocery bags is one of my biggest targets, and water bottles. If you shrink them down, you know, it only takes 267 bags to make a roll of filament. So it's a big noodle making machine. Yeah. Feed it and it just comes out as, as a little tube yeah, of... It was named, my, my two-year-old daughter named it when she said Omnom, you know, in the first... That's the, awesome. She walked Omnom. up, pointed at it, and said Omnom, and I'm like, oh, why not? You know, perfect. <laughs> I'm like, it fits on so many levels, so... Completely. That's a great epiphany to have. So you're, we're tapping into this new idea now where the individual gets to actually recycle its own products and its waste. Create their own resource. Yeah. yeah.